highest legal award in Hawaii history. Several major pharmaceutical companies have been ordered to pay the state $916 million. Any doubt has the details. This case started a decade ago when a state court found Bristol Myers and Sanofi sold Plavix in Hawaii for 12 years, even though they knew it did not work on Asians and Pacific Islanders because they lack an enzyme to activate the drug. The legal battle has been continued by three governors and six of Hawaii's attorney generals. After bouncing to the Hawaii Supreme Court and then back to state court, a judge has finally awarded Hawaii $916 million in damages. It's about sending a very strong message to every business that does comes to Hawaii that unfair and deceptive trade practices will be prosecuted, period. Bristol Myers, Squibb and Sanofi both filed to appeal saying, quote, the overwhelming body of scientific evidence demonstrates that Plavix is a safe and effective therapy regardless of a patient's race or genetics. Humbly to uh, the pharmaceutical industry, walk away from this one. I would hope that it's time to accept the, you know, the decisions from two very reputable judges. Governor Green warned the companies not to appeal the ruling again and said the state plans to invest the money in public health. We'll develop a plan to put substantial amounts of resources into, for example, stroke prevention and cardiovascular treatment, augmenting public health initiatives that have been underfunded for too long. The UH Medical School could get some of that money. That's where researchers have spent the past 20 years studying the effectiveness of drugs on people of different ethnicities. Educate the community more about many of these medications that are known to be effective, but actually haven't been studied enough in Native Hawaiian, Pacific Islander, Filipino populations. What we're trying to do here in Hawaii is help recruit patients for those trials. The state's lawyers say if they win the next appeal, it could be at least another year before they get the money. Eddie Dowd, Hawaii News Now.